Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration on meaningful use, how to achieve the core and menu measures. This video demonstration is on core measure number 12, electronic copy of health information. Let's get started. First, let's open up the PDF from the MTBC website which details the information about this measure. This is the Eligible Provider Meaningful Use Core Measure number 12 out of 15. Provide patients with an electronic copy of their health information upon request. And this copy should include diagnostic test results, problem lists, medication lists, and medication allergies. And the measure here is to provide this information for more than 50% of all patients who request that copy, and it should be provided within three business days. The exclusion here is for any provider that has no such requests from their patients or from their relatives or agents for an electronic copy of patient health information during that EHR reporting period. It's paramount here to mention that the disclosure of healthcare information of course must happen within the HIPAA requirements and HIPAA guidelines for the disclosure of that information. So again, this is the distribution of health information upon a patient's request with an electronic copy, and it should be provided for more than 50% of the patients who request it within three business days. So let's take a look at some definition of terms, and then we'll jump into how the EMR provides this functionality. So business days, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays, diagnostic test results, lab results, urinalysis, pathology tests, and so on. And the attestation requirements include numerator, denominator, and exclusions. So the denominator would be the total number of patients who request an electronic copy of their health information for business days prior to the end of the EHR reporting period. So if you're going to select your reporting period as January 1st through March 31st, then that total number would have to end four days prior to the end of the month of March. And the numerator is the total number of patients who've received an electronic copy of their health information within three business days. And a provider would be excluded if their patients have not made any such requests for that information. And you must simply enter a zero into that box. So the resulting percentage has to be more than 50% in order for you to meet this requirement. There are some additional pieces of information down here. Of course, you can limit this information to just those patients who are in the EHR. If you're in the middle of an EHR implementation with MTBC, you don't have to include this for all of your patients. And it's only for the information that's stored electronically in the software, meaning if you have previous lab results that are not in the EHR, that is not required to be provided electronically to that patient. Only that information that is already electronic in that record. Additionally, you may withhold information from a patient's electronic copy uh, in accordance with that HIPAA privacy rule. And all of this discretion, um, all of this distribution, excuse me, of healthcare information to the patients is directly in line with that HIPAA privacy rule. That is the overarching rule through which all of this is being provided. Now you may provide a reasonable fee, a cost-based fee, for the disclosure of this information. If you're going to be providing this electronic copy in a CD format, you can charge the patients for the CD and for the time that it takes you to provide the CD to the patients, but it must be a reasonable cost-based fee for a copy of the individual health information. So let's go ahead and take a look about how this material is going to be provided from the MTBC EMR. The first thing we should do is find a patient who has some electronic health information in the EHR. So I'll pull up the account for Esther Johnson. Selecting Esther Johnson's account, 
we can see that she has demographic information, she has health summary information, she has lab results documented in her EHR, assessments, allergies, and medications. Now, how will we provide this material to Esther Johnson in an electronic format? This material can be provided to Esther Johnson in an electronic format through the use of a file standard called a Continuity of Care document. NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, has selected the Continuity of Care document standard as the one that all certified EHRs must implement. So this functionality is available through the EMR under the File menu. Select File menu and Continuity of Care document and then choose the option for Export CCD. When we've selected Export CCD, here we must find the patient. We can select the patient from our patient search and then we will click export slash display. This will automatically generate for us a human readable and machine readable file that we can now provide to Esther Johnson. This file includes all of the information that's available electronically in her chart including allergies, problem lists, medication lists, vital signs, diagnostic test results, immunizations, encounters, procedures, and any advanced directives. This information is stored on your computer and can be provided to the patient on a CD or a flash drive in a secure manner. Once we have displayed this patient's CCD, we can now send this file to our CD-ROM drive to burn this onto a CD or to our USB drive to provide it back to the patient on a USB drive or we can even upload it to our secure website and provide the patient with remote access to their PHR. For now, let's just put this file onto a CD. The first thing that we have to do is open up the document path and that is the location where this document will be saved. And of course for every practice this will be different depending on your EMR deployment or your setup and your server. So let's just open up the document path for this file. Once we found our document in our external documents folder we can simply highlight the two files that are related to Esther Johnson right-click and send to. Then we can choose our DVD or CD-ROM drive and send these files to the CD-ROM drive for burning. Additionally, we can provide these files on the patient's USB drive directly. Once we've provided a patient with a CCD, it is stored in the EMR as well on the patient's demographic window. Clicking on the patient's CCD button will display a list of all of the previous CCD files that have been provided to this patient. Meeting the meaningful use requirement for 50 patients within three business days can also be documented using the EMR. To document a request for information, simply go to the patient's communication tab and select the option for patient request slash response. And here you'll have an option to document the request for information as well as the response for the health information. The EMR will automatically begin tracking the number of business days that it takes to provide the patient with a copy of their clinical information.